так, правильно. А, так, правильно. Теперь скелем в сонс. That's how one new set you in French. There to be having your feelings and thoughts, a vehicle to convey riches from the scribe's mint. But who are you to be so named? Yeah, it was 1977-78, thereabouts, and there was a lot of famine in the country. Uh, politically, but this was also expressed um, in various creative ways. Uh, literary, uh, fine arts, dance, uh, the Soweto uprisings uh, a year or two um, previously had uh, unleashed a lot of energy in the country. I would not know what went on behind the scenes when Staff Rider was born. An issue from this world so rough that tens of oldies makes you ill feigned. As they see you, as they see you danger ride. At that time, uh, Staff Rider actually, Raven Press was operating from Pramfontein, Daniel House in Pramfontein. So I had befriended Matibela Manaka and he invited me to come over to uh, to Daniel House. That's where I met Mike Kehood. So I helped in the, the production of the first issue. You see, the, the publications were prompted by what was going on on the ground. So as much as possible, it sought to reflect that scenario. So given that it was not about poetry only, but about the arts. So right from the onset, we you know, it, uh, took into account the whole spectrum of creative expressions that could be captured in print. I associate Staff Rider with a time when the market listing was still a a place of bustling cultural activity, yeah? I was just beginning to try to publish poems. But I think it was the time when I was not fully formed as a poet. You're tough, I must admit. Your feet nimble and crafty, dangling on vehicles moving with speeds like light. You dart on and off in a manner so jaunty, it sends a chill, and yet, oh, what a sight. That muse has given you an honor in a deed that has artistry as intent, it's translating your dexterous touch and valor to works that give vision essential content. content. And this, your newfound platform, that has gained you goodly notice, from those whose minds you must form and whose hearts fill with creative justice. Continue. We change an iota of human granite into the soil that sprouts liberty's food. You have more than you have more value than all the dynamite that blasts rocks for the finances good. So it's a publication that I wanted to publish in, but then unfortunately it died before I could publish. In it. And then what I remember of what I had encountered of it before was some of the graphic elements and some, the ones that struck me the most were the st uh, work done by Figile, which I always had the sense of the apocalypse, uh, apocalypse about them. Like, this, we need to use this type of, that's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to me that it's a particularly 70s type, type of graphic. Um, well, I thought it was most 80s. Actually. Is it? Yeah. What, what year was this? Uh, this would have been, yeah, you're right, 88. I think it was 80s. What was this style about? Was this coming out of the full, full is this the full bar at, at, because um, um, I think it seems to me there was a time when the full bar, of what the Funda Arts students mm -hmm. were kind of bringing out interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. 
one of the things that one realizes about Staff Rider, especially in the beginning, is that there were people who just published there and might have just published only one poem in their life. And there was one poem that I took an excerpt from for, in the, for the beginning of my book called Wooden Spoon by a guy called Kay Zwiede. Um I mean, the, Kay Zwiede. Um I mean, my initial interest was that this guy's uh, surname is a clan name of the Momalo and Momalo Zwitegalanga Kajo. I carved a spoon from a rose root, and though thornless, its shape was strange, conforming with the twisted nature of the rose's journey into the earth. That's the line that I take. And then the other thing was this um, curious um, um, uh, stylistic form. It was started um, by the, uh, the guys who were doing stuff in the 70s, like doing lots of drama. And then what they tried to do was to create a form in which you can have prose, poetry and drama all occurring as one, as one genre. Call it the poem drama. Like everything that was part of the massive momentum of the 70s, 80s and 90s movement, Staff Rider died. And when something like this dies, it is the culture of our richness that gets betrayed.